My name is Felix Mössner. I'm the CEO of Swiss Snacks at the Science Consulate of uh, Switzerland. Uh, it is a really a great uh, honor and a privilege to welcome you to uh, the Swiss Day at ha Harvard, uh, which will host uh, several speeches on the topic why Switzerland is one of the most competitive uh, countries in the world. I, I'm not yet entirely through, but it's a, a brilliant book uh, written by James Briding. And we are also here to build bridges, bridges between North, Northern America and Switzerland, connecting the dots in education, research and innovation. I thought the, the Swiss day at Harvard went extremely well. It was the first time it's ever happened and I think the resonance was terrific and I hope it forms the basis of being able to repeat this in the future. I thought the team did a terrific job. Um, Swiss Next was a great supporter. Hublot is a sponsor, uh, Emmanuel Richard, Jamie Stevenson, Matthew Manson, etc. So I, I really thought it was terrific and we had a, a top class group of speakers and as far as I could gather, the, you know, the audience was just thrilled to, to be a part of it. Most of the real benefits came from knowledge-based achievements. Uh, they have the highest density of, of Nobel laureates in the world. Uh, welcome to Harvard. Thank you all for coming. We live in a world in which uh, the people can come from anywhere. Uh, the idea can come from anywhere. The customers can be anywhere. The mode of production can be anywhere. Uh, and the money can come from anywhere. That is a much more competitive world than it has ever been. The world has an infinite supply of problems, but every entrepreneur views a problem as an opportunity. The watch is no more an information tool for you. The watch is a communicating tool to the, to the people. It gives you time. And it gives you color, it gives you emotion, it gives you fashion, it gives you dream. Then came this incredible new thinking. Let's get rid of the timekeeping. 95% of the Swiss exports are these old tick tock tick tock tick tock movements that do not perform. They don't tell time right. If you have the same team since 79, you don't need to make any uh, conferences together because the eyes can speak. <laughs> and when the eyes speak, the eyes never lie. What does it take to feed the world with a growing population? Next 50 years, world's agriculture will have to produce more food than in the last 10,000 years. The approach is to form allies and alliances, to find allies and to form alliances with people that until very recently have been our fierce enemies. You know, like green organizations which hate us and we hate them. But that's just not going to address the challenge that we are facing here. Well, the Swiss Day, uh, the first, as I understand, ever uh, here in Harvard, this was a great uh, uh, event. First of all, well planned, well organized. And then, you know, uh, for me as a Swiss, <laughs> I learned some new things about Switzerland. So how could it be any, any better? It was very uh, enlightening, very great personalities of Swiss industry. History, you, would, you could even call it. Um, and, and, and they gave uh, great presentations, very inspirational. And this is what we're going to do. And you say, well, this is all. I don't have a PowerPoint presentation. I'm sorry, I'm the only one who actually has to think while speaking. I give a lot of money emotionally away because I like somebody or I like, oh, this is a great guy and he has a good program and it's a great charity. If it succeeds, I don't know. But that's we're back to the feel-good thing, and you need this also when you get a little bit older. The Swiss were perfect, I heard today. There, there was it's absolutely nothing wrong with this country at all. Uh, this is well, at least my impression. But there is a problem. The Swiss tax code does not favor charities. The more people give, to more people they find a need, the more those people will help again. Suddenly, privacy concerns becoming a real issue uh, for a global uh, company based in Switzerland. 
Uh, and the interesting part is if, if you would drill down and, and look at the actual curriculum uh, with respect to media education and digital literacy, it's amazing uh, what this curriculum uh, requires uh, students to know after their basic education, after primary school. Trust is good, control is better. This dictum, this famous dictum by Lenin could also come from the risk-averse Swiss, particularly as it relates um, to politics. I think um, no country in the world has gone as far as the Swiss in terms uh, of uh, government um, uh, of the people, by the people, for the people. We have a rather weak government, but by design, our uh, government um, doesn't really have a presidency. Uh, the seven-member government has a rotating presidency every year, so we are not having a particularly strong person uh, at the head of our government. We don't have a Merkel, we don't have a Sarkozy, we don't have an Obama, and that uh, is then a disadvantage. So next we have Professor Nancy Hoffman, who's uh, she's teaching at the Graduate School of Education, and. Probably she's getting ready to talk what, what I think is probably the most important issue facing societies, not just in Switzerland, but across the developed world, is just how, how do you actually deploy the most important asset you have, which are people. There really isn't a theory of why some countries have strong apprenticeship systems and others don't. When we worry about what happens to this current generation of young people, we worry about youth unemployment. We have the industry with Swatch, Tissot, and all these brands, and we have the high-end brands from Hublot and down. <laughs> Sorry, this was the little advertising <laughs> session because it's the end of the speech. <laughs> Thank you.